Tropical cyclone Nat is passing through the Cook Islands, with strong winds and heavy swell warnings in place for the southern group of islands. Meanwhile, storm surges in the northern group have caused a school to be flooded early on Monday morning local time. Tiana Haxton reports. Ape te to a students on Penryn Island were relocated to their local cyclone shelter as the ocean began to creep into the school grounds. The island's executive officer, Punavano, says the island has experienced rough conditions in the four days leading up to this morning's flooding. It caused a sea flooding around the school area. It's a uh, low-lying area. The power went off. Maybe the, the sea water has gotten into the, uh, the mains and uh, so no power for the school. Mr Vano says the rough weather is easing as the cyclone, which was still a Category 1 storm on Monday afternoon local time, moves further to the southeast. However, the storm system is being closely monitored by the Cook Islands Met Service with choppy seas and high ocean swells and storm surges forecast. The Met Service is advising the public to stay away from coastal areas as a cyclone passes across and above the southern group of islands. Operations Officer Bates Mania says flooding is expected in low-lying areas. We would expect those in the coastal areas to get some uh, coastal inundation and also we expect some heavy swells and very rough seas. Our recommendation is safety first uh, always, especially the Mapu area don't go swim at this time. Cyclone Nat is expected to cause isolated damage to trees and homes made of light materials. Emergency Management Cook Islands Director John Strickland says the country is prepared. The Cook Islands are always resilient. We're always prepared. As we speak, the messages and normal communication to all the pioneers has been relayed, keeping everybody updated, the community and all. So we are very much prepared. The Aitutaki and Ngaputuru Island clusters are expected to bear the brunt of the cyclone as it passes through the country. The Southern Group communities have prepared accordingly. Maoke's Executive Officer Royston Jones says the islands prepare for the storms ahead of the cyclone season every year. We've already done all our preparations. We're just making sure all our drains and culverts are clear so that uh, any heavy rain, less risk of flooding down the harbour. We've moved everything up to higher ground for the expected sea surge. we prepared. You can get the latest information on Cyclone Nat through the Regional Cyclone Forecasting Centre hosted by the Fiji Met Service at www.met.gov.fj.